Hello everyone, my name is James Carpenter with Country Living. Today we're going to actually possibly finish a project we started in one of my previous videos on this shelving unit. So today we're going to take that shelving unit, we're going to take this angle iron, We're going to put it on like that and underneath I I put a three-quarter inch piece of lumber to hold the whole unit three-quarters of an inch off the concrete to prevent uh, sweating from the concrete and the wood rotting out down the road I've clamped two of the uprights on to the shelving unit. We're going to fasten those uprights to the um, shelving unit with these fasteners. These are the tools we're going to use. One is a pilot hole drill bit and the other one is a uh, 7 16 socket on an impact driver. All right we're going to uh, drill a pilot hole and then we're going to put one of those lag bolts in here to secure it and we can take the clamps off. Okay, I'm not completely finished, but what we've got here is bolts, black bolts, top and bottom. 
I'll do the sides here in a minute. This side I took the liberty of doing off camera. It's going to be pretty rigid. I've done a little bit of cutting off camera. I cut all the additional shells and the uprights to hold the shells. And this is what the unit's looking like right now. It still needs to be screwed together, but I uh, wanted to give you an idea of what it's looking like. Some things I want to point out. All right, remember when you're dealing with uh, scrap lumber, you don't always get the dimensions that you would like to have, which causes a problem like that. So because it's a shelving unit, what I'm going to do is put a board across the back. And that way, whatever's on the shelf cannot fall off the shelf. Well, it looks like I made building this addition onto the existing shelf easy. I did most of it off camera. This was a pretty good project. I still got it done the same day. And it's obviously still daylight, so. This is what it looks like. What I what I'd like to say is basically everything you see there is scrap. It was something that someone else would have sent to a landfill. And I took those pieces of wood and those that blue metal, that's even was considered scrap. Angle iron. It worked out perfect. Okay, I, I took it one step further and the bottom part of this shelf was designed for those green totes. That's in a, another video if you want to see that. These cabinets or drawers, I'll call them. This is another uh, habitat find. Uh, there's a sticker on there. I'm not sure what I paid for it, but if this focuses you'll be able to see it okay I got two other shelves up here that I'll definitely find a use for now so let's sum it up the four upright angle irons scrap all the pine lumber you see scrap the uh, bins including the green ones down here and the gray ones uh, from Habitat, and I, I like to phrase it pennies on a dollar, and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, all those fasteners down there are from Habitat. So basically everything there is cheap or inexpensive. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. I, um, I could have put you through the misery of drilling every hole and driving every screw in, but um, I, I noticed the video I did yesterday. I did that. I don't know what people are looking for. If they, they just want to see the stuff or if they want to learn how to build it. But the problem is learning how to build it. I just wing it. I just start going at it. Except for that shelf I made yesterday. I I did uh, draw a diagram and take some measurements up in the kitchen before I made it. I wanted it to fit its location. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy your evening.